Working with The Economist, we initiated a, uh, a, an analysis of how the C-suite, as well as the C executives overseeing technology and security, you know, and how their perspectives aligned or differed. And what we found was that there were some important and somewhat frightening differences across these groups. And the first was we asked them, you know, what is the single most important asset in your company that needs to be protected from cyber attacks? And the CEO's view was their reputation. And the CIO and CISO's view was the regulated data. So, you know, fundamentally different perspective and attitudes of what needs to be protected. We then asked, you know, what is the uh, you know, corporate initiative that has the highest priority? And the CIO and CISO at the top of their list was protecting it against attack. The CEO out to grow the business. And frankly, as a CEO, I know exactly what that pressure is every day, growing the business and that expectation. But frightening was that protecting against cyber attacks or protection of the company barely made the top 10 of the CEO's list. Fundamental difference in perspective. And, you know, and I think the most frightening of all of these differences, we asked, what is the risk of a serious cyber attack within the next 12 months? CEOs, it's important, 25%. But the, those, you, in the know, doing this, almost 50%. And if we decompose this, if there isn't an agreement on how big this threat is, there's no way that the CEO is gonna be empowering and enabling and treating this as the biggest threat that it would be to the enterprise and to the business.